Yeah, welcome, welcome very, very much to conversation. A great distinct pleasure. Welcome to the program. Rabbi Yaakov uh, Shapiro, and he is a very interesting man. We had a chance to meet the other day when we were having a discussion at Theater 80 with Gilad, and uh, he's got an interesting take, and he's got an interesting story to tell, and an interesting take on the human condition, particularly the question of uh, Zionism and the question of the Judaic uh, uh, interest and intellectual concern with the, from a Judaic perspective, and uh, whereby welcome so very much to come. Thank you very much for having me. I enjoyed that the other day. That was some really good, uh, good, uh, good uh, talk that went on there. But share your background, please. Born and raised that a little bit, and then we'll talk about things Judaic and about uh, the human condition. Sure. Well, mm. I'm a New Yorker yeah. through and through. Mm. I was born in Brooklyn, raised mm. in Brooklyn. Mm. I got married, moved to Ocean County, mm -hmm. and then later moved to Queens County, where I live today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rabbinical student. Um, where did you go to rabbinical school, or what kind of education? Did you have public education? No, or? I had all rabbinical education, all various rabbinical. different rabbinical schools. It, it's orthodox, uh, yes. your whole, the, from the get-go in yes. your family, all yes, the way. Yes, okay, yes, okay, yes. okay, that's interesting in itself, and that's influenced you, obviously. Well, it's like saying, well, you're an American, has that influenced you? <laughs> right. It's not a question of influencing, it's like part of your identity. It's I'm like trying part to support, I'm trying to think, like, I was brought up, uh, I was an Anglo-Saxon Protestant, uh, but it was Unitarian. And Unitarian was very open to the intellectual thing and so forth. It wasn't all, there are some that are really god fear and you know, there's some kinds of Christianities that are just absolutely, to my way of thinking, in chains in terms of, to a particular ideological thing. But it's not, but in terms of yours, you got a division within the Judaic community writ large uh, between uh, Orthodox and then Reform and you have uh, others that, uh, other aspects of uh, the Judaic community is divided uh, but you're orthodox. Well, yeah. And, well, I, maybe you can make a distinction there about the <laughs> Jewish community writ large, because right. Uh, if you're going to consider the conservative and reform part of the Jewish community, yeah. then you can also consider, let's say, Jews for Jesus uh -huh. and the Messianic Jews. Uh -huh. There's you're either going Messianic Jews. Yeah, Messianic Jews. They're like, like, like Lubavitch. Who? Lubavitcher. They're, no, they're, no, 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 no. That's, they that's come with the mitzvah mobile. D right, yeah. Diff different idea. The Messianic Jews like uh, kind of like Jews for Jesus, but uh, oh, a little variation. I don't, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting yeah. to me because I'm very interested in the tradition of well, uh, the the prophetic tradition in right. itself as a thing, a guide for human behavior that is being maybe overlooked. Constantine overlooked it when he made peace with power back in 300, you know, the, 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 okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go, I didn't mean to go off, but um, the prophetic tradition has been part of the human condition, I think, very importantly. And it may be overlooked by, uh, by geopolitical realities and so well, well, Judaism isn't really a prophetic tradition. Okay. The prophetic tradition is kind of part of it, but the question is, um, is that all of it? And the mm. answer is no, not in the slightest. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, Judaism uh, was always, until modern times, what you would consider today Orthodox Judaism. Okay, That's yeah. all Judaism was. With some, uh, in fact, with, with, with some quirky exceptions, all Jews were Orthodox. Mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. Jews were Orthodox, all Jews were Rabbinical Orthodox, yeah. until uh, the Emancipation, the French Revolution, the mm -hmm. Emancipation, then came the Enlightenment, and, mm -hmm. and separation of church and state, mm -hmm. and, and by the Christians mm -hmm. in Christian Europe, yeah. there was this big movement to get out from under the thumb of the church, right, right. and there were some Jews who believed, uh, mm. with the benefit of hindsight, mm. and if they would have, they could have understood it then also, but they were just wrong. They they believed that if they become less religious or more like the Christians, mm -hmm. uh, they'll eliminate anti-Semitism. Well, that was going on within the Christian realm as well. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, there were some pretty strong things going on in Torquemada's name and the Catholic religion and so on. Religion has been some had that. Right. Each so, of the religions have had that kind of a thing at Orthodoxy. And the, the Jewish uh, Enlightenment, so to speak, mm -hmm. um, came after the uh, Christian Enlightenment. Um, took a little while for them to catch up, and they mm -hmm. believed that if they would be more like the Christians, not necessarily less religious. Uh, in a way, it was less religious, but even. 
Well, let's more true. similar to the Christians, for example. Yeah. Well, you know, they wanted to put uh, choirs in the synagogues like the Christians have. That's not less religious, that's just a different religion. And it's different you than know, Torah true. Different than, different than Judaism, right. Well, and and you, in Torah, Torah true, you, you have in your sight Torah true. Right. And that's interesting. Well, right. that just means like true to the Torah. Uh, because yeah. It used to be called Judaism, but yeah. now, now yeah, right. uh, because we didn't have a copyright on the phrase Judaism, yeah, right. all these other types of Judaisms, uh, the Jews rather, who who, who wanted to change Judaism and make it more like Christianity mm. or more secular, yeah. and they thought both they would benefit that anti-Semitism would end, and as well, uh, they, they thought they would feel better about themselves. Um, well, there was also a scientific intellectual thing going on on the planet, whereas we had to rely on things out of ignorance in the past. This is the way a secularly oriented uh, intellectual community would think. We had to rely on things because we were in ignorance, so we had to rely on made up creation stories like God and so forth. Well, and that becomes our Quran in the intellectual community more or less, although you can't do it absolutely, as you said to me in a little thing before well, well, we got well, started. Well, well, the Jews always were an intellectual community. Yeah, and, okay. Um, mm -hmm. We, on the contrary, um, if we could rely on a perfectly logical sound yeah. um, creation story, yeah. why would we have to rely on um, Big Bangs? Which make a lot less sense. So it's oh, in, okay. It's, oh, it, well, oh, well, less sense than than creation. Than creation, than the creation. way it's reported in the traditional religious understanding of I God. I know about all religions. I'm mm. talking about no, Judaism. But, yeah, Judaism or Western. Absolutely. Religion. Yeah, um, uh, we're talking about a first cause. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, a Big Bang. Then, th then you have um, a bunch of inanimate objects that somehow came to life. Um, yeah, they, it's very interesting, but we're coming now to understand that intellectually without the need of any creator. I think we still have Except a need for the, a creator. Well, th that's the difference between a religiously oriented for somebody who tends to be somebody who tends to be scientific. Well, not necessarily. I don't agree well, with I that mean, at I, all. I, I, I think that there's nothing in, in science that contradicts the idea of a creator. It's uh, just that it's just that science, uh, the philosophy of science, uh -huh. by by uh, Popper, uh, he yeah, he Karl Popper. right Karl yeah. Popper, mm. he created a parameters of the the methodology of science, and in, in order to eliminate um, chicanery and, and, and charlatans, so he made rules that, like, let's say, um, everything has to be proven in a laboratory, be able to be reproduced in a laboratory, otherwise it's not scientific. Well, that's one take on things. Okay, yeah. so, so nobody claims, including Karl Popper, that if something can't be reproduced in a laboratory, it can't be proven. So let's say, for example, you're on a jury, and um, on they are a jury on a, a jury court. in a yeah, courtroom, yeah, yeah, right, and right. there's a defendant yeah. on, on, on the stand, and there yeah. are a hundred witnesses that he killed the, the victim, right. um, and he confessed, and yeah. there's a video also. Yeah. Uh, you can't reproduce that in a laboratory. It's not reproducible by experimentation, but it's historically proven as far as you're concerned, Actually, and you would find him guilty. Mm. So if we yeah. had God mm. come to everybody on Mount Sinai and give mm. him the Torah, mm -hmm. that wouldn't be reproducible in a laboratory, but that wouldn't mean at all that it's not provable historically. Uh -huh. In other words, nobody claimed that the scientific method of proof is the only method of proof it's out there. It's not only a scientific method, that's part of an enlightenment and so forth, and intellectually understanding what's been going on. Yeah, but isn't that a little closed-minded? No but no. isn't that a little closed-minded to say, you know what, I'm going to accept any possibility that makes sense except God. That I'm not going to accept. No, that is the God. No, I, I think there's a place for that, and people need to have a sense of uh, how answers to that. We've had to have answers. I mean, uh, we did have uh, Copernicus came and they invented and found out we were not the center of the earth. Played hell on people's identity. They thought they were the center. It not was on ignorant. the Jewish identity. We, well, it didn't. I don't see, no, it I don't didn't. see anything. Why it? No, why because it? Uh, why would it? Our concept of the center of the universe okay. doesn't mean necessarily that, that <clears throat> other planets are revolving around us. You can't tell where the center of the universe is unless you know the parameters of the universe. Mm -hmm. See, if, if God, well, that, God that's came the, and created the world, well, that's, that's, either, that's uh, it's either true or not. Yeah, well, And no. to say, well, you know what, now that we have science, 
we understand not that God... Not only science, thinking, th intellectual understanding. Intellectual not only understanding science. leads science to God. Science, there's also the arts and there's other kind of things. Intellectual Generally, under understanding things intellectually... Intellectual when, understanding when we leads were, to God. Do you, do you not? I think atheism is the absolutely... Unintellectual uh, conclusion. Well, that's why I was. I said to you off camera that I'm not an atheist because I believe in synergy and I believe synergy. The universe is synergetic. It's very really resonating. There are no absolutes, including God. God is an absolute thing that gives solace to people. It's good. Do you it know gives that them absolutely? An idea. <laughs> I know that's very good you see, retort. That's a good retort. You see, whether there are no absolutes or not, that's not a scientific conclusion. That's your philosophy, and perhaps that makes you feel no, better. No, no. But there's no scientific proof well, or anything, even a theory that says there's no absolutes. Uh, no, no, not no, to say that. That's very good. You so, so, so it's not. No, synergy is behavior. You know, you're not familiar with Bucky Fuller, the term synergy. No, I, I know what synergy that. means synergy in a business um, he used context. To talk, you know, he used to do that, talking about evolution. Of things in time, he would give a. T he was a major intellectual. I don't know how he cannot be informing, but anyway, that doesn't matter. But he he would uh, talk to a, uh, an audience of a thousand people, and he said, "Has anybody heard the word synergy?" No hands, or maybe one or two would go up. Now it's on the lips of every thinking person. It's the behavioral systems unpredicted by the sum of the parts. There's something resonating more than the sum of the parts. So the universe is inherently synergetic. We cannot know what is the, uh, what is the result until we get there. And we're not there. We're closing quotes on it. The end time is coming, perhaps. But where does it end? Well, they don't know. Is, it's is synergetic. It, is it possible to end? And what happens afterwards? We don't know. Oh, it's synergetic. So if we, we don't know. There's, there's two separate statements. No. We don't know and it's synergetic are two separate things. Oh. We don't know. Can we ever know? Don't know. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So, so, so what are you going to do if at the end of this synergy line yeah. is mm -hmm. going to be a creation? No, what it will be is we're going to come to the end of the human experience. We, we've, we're, I, I presume, or I don't know how you do in terms of a, uh, of a the, the theological view, you, you accept that we, uh, the theory of evolution, that the, that the, whole, uh, the whole biosphere evolved. Out of uh, out of history, oh, it's very, very interesting. And the human you, being so, is so, a, so is you a, believe inanimate matter took on life at a yeah, certain yeah, time. Yeah, it's very How? hard. Well, that's a question. That, so, so that's well, intellectual, could, or that's just an accepted belief? No, no. It that was makes some, people feel good because they, they, they eradicate from themselves obligations of a god? Or, or is it really intellectual no to say, is it really intellectual to say that once upon a time at one moment, because life is either all or nothing, uh, at one now moment things were... Are well, 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 yeah. Things were... Yeah. So you tell me uh, another yeah, alternative. Talk, that yeah. once upon a time there was dead matter, uh -huh. inanimate matter, yeah. and then suddenly came to life. No, not I didn't suddenly, know you believe in the resurrection of the dead. Not, not what even slowly, at, at one point, at one point life becomes life. You're getting very life. mixed up logic, if I may. You're it's all right. Me, you're talk, talking, ahead, you're talk not talk talking logic. Well, I know that um, there, there, there is not known but no, well, you're, you're taking evolution. Well, I don't know. You, you spoke almost derisively about Big Bang. I'm just asking the question. The creation of if, the universe, if, we get it down 13.7 billion years okay, ago. You don't for, think that? Forget about that I mean, for a moment. I mean, this is coming for, to be no, knowledge that we haven't had. The question is, mm -hmm. the question is that mm -hmm. I asked, do you believe <clears throat> 1 billion, 2 billion, 100 years ago, however long ago it was, what? that once upon a time there was only inanimate matter, and somehow that inanimate what? matter became living. Well, it sounds to me like what we're doing is talking about something on this planet. This planet, we're talking about the universe. Anywhere. And we, the we universe is now. created. There may be, and it's string theory now is beginning to tell us there may be parallel universes Fine. that are connected. In, in our universe. So we have, we're universe, alive yeah. now, right? We're now alive. The, you, once agree, upon a time, there was nobody alive. You don't alive. agree that it's 13.7 billion well, years ago that that uh, occurred? One question at a time. The shock once wave. upon a time, there was no life. Well, you're talking life now. That's right. one thing. You're talk, so I'm once upon about a the time, universe. there was no okay, life. Okay, talk about life. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was no life. No, well, no life. Yeah, okay. Now, now we have life, right? Uh -huh. Explain to me how, intellectually, mm -hmm. uh, you believe that 
non-life, inanimate a matter, mm -hmm. became living. Well, that sounds a, to me like resurrection. Well, that's, no, that's resurrection something. That's something. Uh, in the past, there would be no way for us to even consider that, so we invent God. Wait, 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 wait. So, so, what's the alternative? Well, the alternative is an understanding of what is uh, been the reality of the development of things in this universe, and we come to know it more, and we come to realize we're not the center of the universe, we are uh, go being, the, the sun is the center of our thing. And then there come to be people like Darwin, who begins to understand how did the species, how did all the life forms appear, and then it gets to be down to a question among scientific investigation, how in the world do we get from an inorganic reality, which was the soup in which the Earth formed, formed 3.58 billion years ago? Or no, the organic, pro the, evol the evolution, the planet was formed 4.5 billion years ago. This is things that we can know as scientifically track. Then you get to about 3.8 billion years ago, it began the process, the very earliest, billions of years involved, of the not anything so complicated as RNA. We now know about DNA. We know things. We know. We're learning. Okay. Life. Now, life. Uh, life. Well, life. The beginning of the organic process. There are people, uh, Mr. John, uh, 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 Robert Shapiro, uh, the great uh, chemist is doing this, and other colleagues. They've been investigating, coming up with how did we get not anything to as complicated as RNA, which is a component of DNA, component, but very the, the, the very elementary basic components of RNA that were there. How did that come to be done? They're investigating how that first little beginning of that could have happened within the universe over billions of years. They're zeroing in on that. And we will come up with that. So we'll, once you get to that, you've got the means of understanding all evolution through DNA and through a scientific understanding of how everything came to be without any God. How do you know that they'll come to that conclusion? Well, is I, that faith? Uh, yeah. There is. Okay, so, so you have faith that the the uh, the intellectual will, process the intellectual will, process and that there's a but, purpose. but I thought there's no absolutes so so how do you know that the intellectual process a, will I are there no unanswered questions no. are there no unanswered no, questions in nature all so how do you know this won't remain an unanswered question which is the unanswered question uh, how here? life came about you said eventually that they'll figure will, it out how do you know this won't be one of those unanswered questions that we will never have an answer to or that well, that we uh, will, we because will. it's attached to a whole lot of other things called thinking and intellectually understanding what the process is, rather than accepting stasis ideas of how things came to be, which has been the thing that humanity has required in order to get a sense of identity and purpose in the universe throughout all of time until now. Well, well, we're now coming to a, not only an enlightenment, a new enlightenment, and we're coming to the end of an evolution, and to, the evolutionary process which it created the Homo sapiens species 200,000 years ago, the Homo sapiens species appears. We can understand it without any creative force like a god doing that. But right now you don't understand how life came about. Oh, you just we do. Believe, no, you just said that we will understand and they're investigating, and that's only the RNA. But how real full no, life and beginning. sentience that's came about, beginning. we still don't understand now. And you have faith that they will figure it out somehow, some way, one day. Without any evidence that it's true, you just have faith about what well, will be. Well, okay. But Yes. Okay, now I have a question for you. Yeah, any question okay. at all. Fine. Um, there's a law in physics, law of causation, right? It means every effect has to have a cause. Because if I throw the dice... Uh, but there's also the uncertainty principle. But, but the uncertainty principle... Heidelberg. Uh, fine, right. right. But the uncertainty principle is, is negated if you understand all the causes. In other words, if we knew how the dice lands on six, Mm -hmm. We could always make that dice land on Go six. Go right to Las Vegas. Right. Las Vegas. Right. But yeah. we don't know mm -hmm. exactly. But if we mm -hmm. would, we, every effect has a cause, right? Well, I'm not sure of that. That's I'm a little causation. Sure. Yeah, well, okay, so well, let's not go into it. Yeah. In any case, Sounds I, like I, you're I think... Sounds trying to get to an I think, absolute thing to prove. Well, I, well, well, I, I Which think you that... you were trying to do with me, too. Yeah. I well, I'm not trying to get to any absolute mm -hmm. thing. I'm just asking questions. But yeah. if you're not familiar with well, causation, we'll go to the next topic. Well, you got this idea of God. 
I have yeah, an intellectual had, uh, yeah, conclusion of God, uh, yeah, yes. okay, good. which doesn't which yeah. doesn't need faith, like mm. like as you said, as believing in evolution, and they'll mm. figure out answers to questions mm. that they have no idea. Because you once have upon a time, because we we we, we have thinking and uh, and we have understanding. Yeah, and 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 we're maturing. As the, the whole again. evolutionary process has been a process of maturing from one stage to another, and was pretty well written into the record, and has been apexed the by record. mankind, and we are probably coming to a synergistic resonancy of a liberated order at what would be called the end time through religious understandings through time, to where we're going to come into a new relationship in the universe and the internet and universal mind, which may be the result of a synergistically resonant liberated humanity. That's How, what is the, that's what the offering is in terms of intellectual understanding. We're, you, a, time, uh, we're a time of emerging out of the womb, as we did uh, out of Austral. We came out of Austral uh, uh, Homo erectus. And, and Homo, I'm, Homo sapiens appeared out of Homo erectus uh, about two hundred thousand years ago. And I'm supposed to just and believe you? Well, you, I, you got no, it? that's not to be believed. That's just simply the understanding. Explain of, that to me. Well, Why? How do you well, know that? Well, there's a whole that? literature if you want to go to it. Just look it up. It's there. So you can't explain it. Well, I can explain it. It would go take ahead. a long. It would no. take a long time. No, the, okay. the, the evolutionary me, process could be understood. Forget Once evolutionary you get process. No, I'm talking about well, this. Well, we are part of an evolution. That's how correction. we got here. We're part of an evolutionary context that has got the same way the apes and the fish and everything. We came out of an evolutionary context really, that anything, has no and, and what's primal going, cause like God. And what's that's going too, to that's happen? Just, that's I, just, I, I, you, you gave me a whole prediction about what's going to happen in the future, about uh, this synergy and this relationship and the end of uh, whatever. How do you know all of this? No, what is not knowing anything? It's just wonder, understanding. It's faith. No, it's not faith. It's understanding and learning. What, what, what are you? An un, untrampled learning by is any. Is it absolute. possible that what you're, what you're predicting will not come true? Sure. Okay. So, so how sure are you of it? Well, I'm so not may, at all, no to tell you the God's honest truth. To tell you the God's honest truth. To use a vernacular. Uh, I'm not at all uncertain because okay. I think there's two vectors. One of the things unique to the Homo sapien species, now it's, uh, it's characteristic of some other creatures like bees make nests and beavers make dams, birds make nests and so forth. Tunnels are made by ants and other kinds of creatures. But uniquely, the Homo sapien species, and uh, even monkeys, and our primate ancestors, that we, we come up the hominoid line, or up the primate line, uh, we were uniquely able to extend our consciousness in the use of tools and technology. How? Where we can make, um, is a difference between wandering in the wilderness as we did most of our tenure on Earth as a species, and finding a cave, and then building a house. There's a, we can make the world different by extended consciousness, which we're uniquely able to do through tools and technology. That process is now coming to a point, I guess we're about 100, the best understanding, about 190,000 years, we were wandering in the wilderness. As uh, the new species appeared, it appeared 200,000 years ago, about 10,000 generations, is what the science is telling us is the case. So we've been wanting, and then they got agriculture. They discovered that it's called Neolithic Revolution. They got, got they got, they got, they got uh, uh, security from the food quest and so forth. They built uh, energy systems. They built uh, empires: Nebuchadnezzar, Pharaoh, then Rome, and then a thousand years of uh, after Rome, a thousand years of crowned heads of Europe being able to develop empires and that sort of thing and they developed it. And the means by which political legitimacy was established by one group over another was generally whoever had the biggest club could hit the other on the head and set up with military capability and then creation stories and PR, their system as being one that is ordained by God or is ordained by their better system in the world, they're better than the other, and that's the history of the world. And we've got that coming now in, into, a, into a crescendo, and that extended power on one vector, which is called real politique, real economics, and so forth, of the world, is based upon the principle whoever's got the most power can uh, conquer the other. And on that vector, the weapons have finally become, after 200,000 years, 
apparently from the modeling, species lethal. The weapons that have been the undergirding of the political establishment of political legitimacy among the people of the world have become lethal, uh, species lethal. They're capable, capable, and it's only in our lifetime, capable if they're unleashed, which could happen any day, capable of wiping out every single human being on the planet. Mm -hmm. That's a new kind of reality and universe in terms of evolution. The other side, we have a capability of taking care of everybody that has not been characteristic of the human condition. Most people were eating carrion or eating a very less than advanced life. We have an ability to take care of everybody in a unique way. Now, from extended capability, particularly with the involving understanding and the knowledge of that, that we will get a world where we can eliminate or we can liberate the human society within an ecological context. First time ever in the history of the universe has that been able to be the condition that will create a liberated humanity within an ecological context if we get it so everybody's involved, like all the cells in the human organism, there's 100 trillion cells in a human organism. Every organism, every cell matters, everyone's tied in as a system. We'll get a resonancy that will, in, will be a synergy that will inter-accommodate the universe at a level transcendent to what we've been throughout 200,000 years of our existence. We were on the verge of speciating. And this makes and more sense to you than God. Absolutely. That, no, not, it does to me. And, and you worry have, in, it's hard to think worry but in you don't real, But you don't really have any proof that this is happening, this is just your faith. No, 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 I don't think so. I think there's you a think whole there body is proof? of call. There is a body, that which I, you could check it that, out. I, you could check it out. That thing that I laid you out is about right. That's about uh, right wait, in wait. terms of intellectual understanding that we could not have known 100 years ago uh, or any time uh, in the hold, past. Hold this. I'm asking you. It's a unique in, moment. What is the, what is the, scientific proof, I even feel strange even asking this because it's kind of rhetorical, what is the scientific proof that this is going to happen? Is there any? No. No, okay. No, so I then, told you the, the vector is we've got, okay. we're, we're at a moment of synergistic, res we're at the moment. And we this can, synergy, synergy, is this accepted in the, all the scientific community? I think so. I it think, is? I, that think it's so. Really? I think it would be fair I, to say that in all intellectual communities, they're understanding that, it, that the universe is synergetic. So what you're saying that any community that it, disagrees the, with you is not intellectual? You just no. said all intellectual communities agree. I said I thought I thought. You think so? So according to that thought, yeah. any community that disagrees with you is not intellectual. No, no, no. They didn't, didn't you just say all? You think all intellectual communities agree? That all means if somebody doesn't agree, they're not intellectual. No, there community. would be there would be differences within it, but oh, the wait, wait, overall so pattern would be agreeable that there's ever we got here by evolution. How, well, I don't well, think anybody you, you're denies that. You're confused. I deny that. You, but would, you're you would deny that. You of course, think I would we deny that. I want to ask you something. Born right. hole on I a will, mountaintop or something. I mean, it's one hole on a mountaintop. Well, how did it come if we didn't you, come evolution? You, you believe that a rock turned into a human being once, somehow, you believe that one no. day, one day no, they'll I'm figure so, it out, they'll no. slowly and by accident, yeah. by a bunch of uh, uh, chance circumstances, slowly this rock turned into a living, thinking human being. Of course it took billions of years, but all by accident, and even though you can't not explain how it happened now, they're investigating it, and one day they'll figure it out. And if they don't figure it out, well, you, you if they don't figure it out, then, then then you're back to square one. So so that faith that yeah. you have yeah. sounds to me like resurrection of the dead. Sounds mm -hmm. like a, a, a miraculous rising, like, you know, um, night of the living dead or something that inanimate objects become. But I think that it takes much more faith to believe that this world that you just mentioned that sells uh, billions of, of pieces, include the DNA and RNA, yeah. billions of pieces without any of which, without a single one, uh, the, the, the cell wouldn't function, the, the, the body wouldn't function. Your eye has millions and millions of components yeah. that interact with each other yeah. perfectly. It's a long I, time getting it, I think the evolutionary that, I, th line. I think that it takes much more faith to believe that came by accident than the obvious logical conclusion that, that this was. camera yeah. came from a designer. Your well, eye is more sophisticated well, than that camera. That's something I believe that, that you believe. That's good. That's no, good. No, no, that's no, no, no. But one second, no. one second. Not question what I believe. It's called you God. Said, you mm. said, you mm. can call it whatever you like, mm. but clearly it was by design. Now, you said that there's no intellectual way to, to um, understand that, and all thinking people 
believe that your eye came by well, accident, meaning evolution. But that's an accident. Now, I take great issue with that. Okay, wait, fine, wait, wait, with fine. that, with that um, uh, putting down uh -huh. of anyone who disagrees with you by saying they're less intellectual. I think. No, all, uh, think no, no. Different. You said all intellectual people, all no. thinking people. Yeah, that thinking is opposed to faith. Well, and more than that, mm -hmm. you made a psychoanalysis of all religious people that, well, they need God to feel better. No, I, I think. I think yeah. that the reason why people came up with atheism and synergy and stuff like that is because they didn't want to be bound to a God. Now, why tell me intellectually, objectively, yeah. is your psychoanalysis better than mine? Now, I'm not saying that anybody who disagrees with me is not intellectual, but you did. You said all thinking people and all intellectual people believe that. I'm saying that there are plenty of people who maybe you don't, but I consider them intelligent that disagree with you, uh -huh. including scientists. Oh, I think so. How do you explain that? Well, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a drag from history. That's what I think it is. People, And also, it's really important because it gives solace. It gives a sense of purpose. It gives a sense of stability. I Why think does it, it give a, sense, it gives of a stability? sense of It gives a sense of a basis of morality and social organization and everything. So that idea is so something. So again, you're saying that, that there's no objective like, person, that any scientist, any intel, intelligent person that believes in God is just trying to make himself no, feel no, good? No, 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 well, no, Well, no, I just asked you. I just asked no, you. No, you're the one who's trying. I with asked due you. respect, Rabbi, you're I trying to make you. it absolute, absolute. I'm not, I'm not saying that. Absolute. You're the, excuse me. You're the one that said, all intellectual no, people, say. you said all intellectual communities believe that. You said thinking people believe that as opposed to people that just made up a story about faith. Well, You're the, and I'm the one that's looking for absolutes. Mm. You're the one that said all. All and all. As well, opposed to everybody else and I'm the one looking for absolutes. No. I think that if they, I think this is typical, actually, people that uh, don't believe in right. God, who, who no. run around trying to well, say, I don't say, no, I don't, I don't believe, believe in absolutes. God. I talked about a whatever universal. synergy, I it talked doesn't about matter. A universal people who mind. don't believe in a creator, let's I talk, talk about, about a universal that. Okay. Mind. There's people an opening up people on a who universal don't believe mind. in a creator, yeah. right away, oh, so this is what the Enlightenment did. Okay, you know what? Enlightenment we're gave us enlightenment. chance to get we're out of fine. Problem. We're intellectual. You're not intellectual. We're smart. You're not smart. We're thinking. You're just faith. We are objective, and you want to make yourselves feel good. Mm. Now, even though you don't have any scientific evidence to back up your assertions about what's going to be and all this synergy, that's your faith. Yeah. You have plenty of questions that you cannot answer. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you also have to admit that the scientists were wrong many, many times. They're the ones, once upon a time, that well, thought, uh, yes, and, and they're constantly re-evaluating the thing. And yet, yeah. and yet, anybody that disagrees with your story, which you cannot completely explain, well, is not, not from an intellectual community. Right, I think that that's... I, I think that that's kind of like, uh, well, you know... Well, think that way, that's okay. And anyway, no, I don't think there's any difference. No, but I'm just asking you to, to, really no. to really state your position Officially, well, again, I, I anybody that disagrees with you and believes that the world was that, that your well, eye didn't come by accident. Well, I'd like, to but know, actually came by design. Well, is not intellectual and is only thinking that because he wants to make himself feel good and a sense of morality and stuff like that. Yes or no? Well, I, I don't know about okay. that. The, 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 okay. the thing is, it's it's hardly worth. Enough arguing about or anything like you that. You start it. Did, well, maybe so. See, but that's what happens. They start, and then when you yeah. put them in a corner, well, let's not argue uh, about this. Okay. Well, so what would you like to talk uh, about? Well, that's, a, that's the kind of difference that we're there. Uh, do you think you, you so you, you don't think, you don't believe the theory of evolution? Is that what you're Let saying? something. Or, or that things evolve? Is it a theory? That's like, no, you, or you, you think that we, the Earth, is the center of the universe? What's what because do you mean by the center of the, the universe? What do you mean by the center well, of the universe? Well, the the, the 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 in historical terms, until Copernicus, the world opinion. Uh, For the world opinion, I'm asking you what you mean by the center of the universe. You well, asked me, do you believe X, Y, Z? Mankind what do you mean by believed that? that the Earth was the center of the universe, and the sun the went around the, or, or the the sun went around the Earth. The se Earth was the center of no, the universe. In that sense, that was part in of that the belief sense, system. In that sense, we from never ancient believed civilizations it. In that sense, we never believed it. Well, that's uh, what the world believes, uh, I, so by and how, large. Listen to me. By and large, you uh -huh. asked me about my religion. You asked me what I well, believe. Well, I did. Yeah, we should talk now about you, your Now religion. you're telling me, well, if the world believed this, you've got to believe it. I want to ask you something, Harold. 
everything the world believes you believe? No, of course not. I mean, not. we're sitting here in this, what, the cable TV. Uh, we, we met in a, in, in a place that, that, that's designed specifically for uh, the dissemination of ideas that are not exactly majority ideas, yeah. right? And now you tell me, well, all the intellectual community in this, so when it's convenient, well, let's the intellectual community binds people to be part of it, but when it's not convenient, okay. when we're talking about yeah. real left-wing politics stop now, you know all that. Let's stop talking all that Fair stuff enough. they've been talking about. Let's talk about Judaism Go and ahead. so forth, and about the thing that you and Galad were talking about, and Zionism, and the uh, Torah True uh, view of the Judaic experience, which you're familiar with, and the idea that you are Torah True Judaism, and you're anti-Zionist, and all of that is part of the uh, the mission or the, the statement that you have on your website, which is very good and recommended, along with uh, my way of thinking, the the Natura Carta, Rabbi Israel Dome, and others who have taken exception to the establishment of the State of Israel in the name of the Jewish community is a blasphemy. Well. A secularly oriented well, blasphemy of the Torah true understanding of Judaism. It's much simpler than that. Oh, is it? Okay, much make simpler. it simpler, clear. Why did the Zionists create Zionism? Well, tell me. The Zionists created Zionism because they weren't happy with the, the way the Jews were. Uh -huh. Yes, the Jews were persecuted, but as the Zionists themselves stated, the early Zionists in all of their writings, that anti-Semitism really isn't the reason for creating Zionism. Yeah. If anti-Semitism, the fact that, fact that the Jews were persecuted, was a reason uh, for them to look into themselves and see what's wrong with the Jews uh. if they're hated so much. Uh. And they came to the conclusion that the problem with the Jews... With the Jews? Yeah, that they're not like the Gentiles. Yeah. And if they would be like the Gentiles, so they wouldn't be persecuted. Yeah. More than yeah, they wouldn't right, be persecuted. Right, yeah. More than they wouldn't, wouldn't be hated, they wouldn't hate themselves. Right, yeah. Because they really did hate themselves, the, the, the early Zionists. They, they looked at the Jewish people and they looked at themselves and said, we're so Jewy. Like, why can't we be normal? Like, I want to tell you something about the Jewish people. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the so Jewish Jewy. people believe, what is a Jew? Yeah. Uh, that, let's yeah, start right. with that. Yeah, what is a Jew? Yeah, right. it, it used to be uh -huh. that the Jews define themselves one way. Yeah. Okay? On the top of the mountain. true, I no, think. No, no, no sorry. sorry. On the top of the mountain, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. around the mountain actually, mm. um, Mount Sinai, mm. uh, there was a, a few million refugees from Egyptian slavery mm -hmm. who escaped Egypt. A yeah, uh, uh, ragtag bunch of uh, refugees. In, in the middle of no man's land, yeah, in those right. days the Sinai Desert was not owned by any particular country, it yeah. was just, you know, ownerless. Mm. And, and, and God came to them mm -hmm. and said, if anybody wants the job mm -hmm. of fulfilling the Torah, mm -hmm. Fulfilling, fulfilling the Torah. Torah involves obligations, involves obligations, it involves responsibilities, and, and the reason for these obligations and responsibilities is because God created the world for a purpose. Where did the Torah come from? God. From God? God, yeah. God. And, and, and okay. created the, the world for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And uh, the purpose is to connect to God. And just like God is perfect, uh, God, it's kind of like uh, God said, I'd like to share this perfection. And I'd like to let other people also enjoy this perfection uh, because it's, it's, it's to their benefit, it's mm -hmm. to their pleasure. Mm -hmm. um, God said... Creation story, uh, yeah. Creation yeah. story. Yeah, so, right. so, so God mm. said, you know what, I'm going to uh, create a way for people to connect to me mm -hmm. because God is perfect and nothing else can be perfect as, as God is. Uh -huh. And so if you want to be part of that perfection, yeah. uh -huh. if you want to enjoy that perfection, I would imagine perfection is perfectly enjoyable as well, yeah. you know, yeah. um, which is something the scientists haven't figured out a way to, to accomplish yet. Mm. But... Um, Mm -hmm. You've got to be connected to God. Mm -hmm. So God created the Torah, which is a means to connect to him. Mm -hmm. And he said to everybody in the world, not only yeah. to the Jews, yeah. he said, if anybody would like mm -hmm. to accept this Torah, mm -hmm. I'm not forcing anybody to do it, mm -hmm. it involves responsibilities, mm -hmm. it involves obligations. Mm -hmm. But the reason for these particular obligations and responsibilities is because by doing so, by mm -hmm. fulfilling these particular responsibilities and obligations, uh -huh. 
after you leave this world, mm -hmm. your soul connects to me. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you have all this pleasure. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and those who said we're willing to accept these responsibilities mm -hmm. became the Jews. Mm -hmm. Okay. There were unborn Jews. There, there, there were souls that of unborn people, because God wanted to be fair. He, he offered it to even unborn people. And there are many yet unborn born, people yeah. yet to yeah, be yeah, born, yeah, correct? Right, right. They accepted yeah. it. Yeah. God made sure that those people, when it's time for them to be born, they will be born to Jewish mothers. Uh -huh. um, the people who were around Mount Sinai, they accepted it. Other people didn't accept it, but it's not too late. Anybody can accept the Torah. They're called converts at any mm -hmm. time they want. Mm -hmm. Judaism is not a race. Mm -hmm. Judaism is not an ethnicity. Mm -hmm. what, ethnic, what, what common ethnicity do I have, let's say, with a Yemenite Jew? Mm -hmm. I have around yeah. the corner from yeah. me. My yeah. family was in Poland for 500, okay. 700 years. Mm -hmm. Around the corner from me, there's a, a nice Yemenite Jew who's a good friend of mine. We have nothing in common in terms of ethnicity. Okay. Right. Um, we are, it, it's not a race. Mm -hmm. You can convert to Judaism. You can convert to a race. Jews, mm -hmm. Jews looked at themselves with this supernatural yeah. um, uh, characteristic uh -huh. of those who accepted the Torah. Uh -huh. now, I'm not asking you to accept this, this story. Yeah. That's your choice. But yeah. That's story. the yeah. Jews yeah. always identified but themselves as uh, being the recipients of the Torah. Nothing else. No. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Until the emancipation came and the French Revolution and, and, and well, there, were the those, yeah. uh, there, there were those Jews who figured, you know what, uh, life would be much better for us. We wouldn't be persecuted anymore. We would be much, com much more happy with ourselves if we would be like the Gentiles, if we were well, more secular. And so they first tried oh, assimilation okay. and, and, and stuff like that, but guess what happened? Yeah. Particularly in the early 1880s in Russia, okay. yeah. the pogroms. Yeah. The Gentiles didn't accept their theory that mm -hmm. if they become like the Gentiles, the Gentiles will accept them. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what to do. If they become like the Gentiles, the Gentiles will accept them. Become, they're coming secular, and correct? Out, Sec away from Torah. Yes, Torah. and sometimes not not only secular, Christian. Mm. Many of them converted to Christianity mm -hmm. because they said, "You know what? The Christians will accept us." Mm. They didn't. Mm -hmm. So, Plan B. They had to come up with Plan B. Yeah. And they thought they had the answer because of staring them in the staring uh, them in the face in those days. Uh, th in those days, nationalism was yeah. sweeping Europe. Well, that was coming, yeah. Coming, sweeping Europe, nationalism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they figured this nationalism doing so well for the other people. Mm -hmm. Everyone's becoming a nation. Mm -hmm. All these people are becoming yeah. a nation. Yeah. We'll the also nation become state. a. We'll also become a nation. We won't be a religion anymore. We'll be a nation. In other words, they wanted to join the, the gangs, the Gentiles. The mm -hmm. Gentiles said, no, you're not playing in our parks. You're, tra you're talking about the early Zionists. Yes, okay. well, you're not playing uh, in our park. You're not joining our gang. Mm -hmm. So the Zionists said, guess what? Mm. So we'll make our own gang. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to change history. We're going to look at the Jewish people, mm -hmm. not the way the Jewish people always looked at themselves. Mm -hmm. We're going to make up, we're going to invent a new nation mm -hmm. that never existed. Yeah, right. The Jewish nation. Mm -hmm. Jewish nation, now, there's a problem. A Jewish nation, it was, it, was a, it was a fantasy. Yeah. It was a figment of their imagination. There was no yeah. such thing as a Jewish nation. There were the Jewish people, people that yeah. were united by this supernatural narrative, this Torah that they believed in. But there was no such thing as, 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 as a nationality. But they had a history that, back to David and Solomon and everything. Yeah. No, no. No. back to David and Solomon, mm. back to the exodus from Egypt. Okay, okay. I oh, seem well, to remember a story where the Jews ex mm. left Egypt, mm. right? Mm. You see, the Zionists, mm. actually, that's part of what... That's, that's part, interesting. That's part of what, what, what they do. It's part of their, their propaganda in uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. they, they emphasize, even the archaeologists, they mm. emphasize the David and Solomon, and in the schools, they start learning mm. the Bible, not from um, Adam and Noah and even Abraham, but from Joshua when he went crossed over the Jordan River uh, into uh, the Holy Land. Uh -huh. Because that's where Jewish that, history starts for them, yeah. but that's not true. Mm -hmm. they, they kind of like uh, rebuilt Jewish history. We were going to have a thing where he, he, uh, Frank, Pope, 
was corrected Netanyahu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, but you're right. I told you. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get to that. So, so, get to the clip. so what they yeah. did was they, they invented a language. Yeah. Because in, ben especially Yehuda. in those days, Ben Yehuda, right? Yeah. Especially in those days, uh, part of being a nation was you had to have a common language. Yeah, right. That was a big element well, of, of, of nationalism, right. Yeah, right? So, so, but the Jews didn't have a common language. Mm, they didn't well, have they, Hebrew. They didn't have Hebrew. The Jews did not speak Hebrew. Did they have Yiddish? Well, the European Jews spoke Yiddish. The Oriental Jews did not speak Yiddish. Okay. And and Yiddish, yeah. the Zionists hated Yiddish. It's a great because language. Because it was because it was so Jewy. How could we live without Yiddish? I mean, you'd yeah, have no listen. comedy clubs. You'd have nothing going. You know, I mean, Yiddish is really rich. Comedy clubs? Yeah. They can't do comedy clubs in English. No, well they, they could. English they comedians? could. They so we would. Okay. Shlomiel so and Drown. They got such who? many. They got such good words already in Yiddish. You know, shtick. You got shtick. Yeah, that's from Judy. Well, you're a showbiz guy. That's yeah, you know right, that absolutely. Word, you know? Yeah, but I mean, you got, you know, well, anyway, Mel Brooks that lives. Right. Know? Yeah. Um, in any case, they invented a language so that the Jews can have a language, and they kind of convinced themselves. Yeah that the Jews always spoke this language, or, or, or once upon a time yeah. spoke this ancient language of Hebrew mm. that was resurrected. Mm. But, but it's not true. I, I showed you the, the clip. The, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm sorry it was so embarrassing. Just to give it you was, an idea of how fictitious this whole yeah. Jewish nation, quote-unquote, yeah. is, that, that yeah, when the Pope recently came to Israel, yeah. he had a meeting with Netanyahu, yeah. and Netanyahu was like bragging about Israel. <laughs> For whatever reason, he considers this bragging. He said, right. you know, Jesus lived here, yeah. and he spoke Hebrew. Right. Right. And, and so Frank, the Pope corrects him. He says, Aramaic. Yeah, right. Frank. You can find this on, on the yeah. internet. The well, clip it was is there. Aramaic. Yeah, Ara of course that. it was yeah. Aramaic. Yeah, right. So Netanyahu says, mm. Yeah, but he understood Hebrew. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> right. he did. But you understand how embarrassing yeah. it is yeah. for like the head well, of that's state to try. That's nationalism. That's yeah, nationalism. Yes, but there's nationalism where a person knows he's being nationalistic. Nobody really believes Uncle Sam exists, right? Yeah, right. But, but, but Netanyahu thought, he didn't even think, all right, I'm going to trick the Pope. I'm going to pull this over on him. He really believed. Yeah. He yeah. really believed. Yeah. It, it's like lodged in their consciousness. Uh -huh. Now, if you uh, that, that Jesus spoke Hebrew, that the yeah. Jews spoke Hebrew, yeah, there, yeah. they did not. But, well, but that's what they're. Now, now he knows they didn't because yeah. if the Pope corrected him, yeah, right. he understood perfectly. Well, but it's like what you got to say. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got to well, say the well, Jews spoke Hebrew. People invent their own thing in order Ex to serve their interests. Yeah. Exactly what now, they did. Now, what about the so, situation so, so, now? So, so hold on. So they, they invented Hebrew, mm. they, then, but they needed a land. Yeah. So they went and they got a land that's Israel. Yeah. But the reason they, they made Zionism is they got Israel and. and created a language and created a new history mm. that didn't exist. Mm. They took our, our villains and made them into heroes. Jews are very non-militant people. I know. We are true violence. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you, the Jews, uh, to the point where, yeah. you know what, we, yeah. we would consider it insane mm -hmm. to have a uh, uh, military hero. We never yeah. had military heroes. <laughs> right, right, uh, right. Even that an athlete, <laughs> yeah. an athlete should be a role model Woody for Allen, people. Yeah. <laughs> an athlete should be a role model for, for, for people. We mm -hmm. never had role models that were athletes or military guys. So who were the role we, we models? Never, the righteous people. Uh, the righteous. The righteous, <laughs> the pious people, yeah. the ones that, that, that live life in a proper moral, uh, ethical, Is religious it manner. Say Torah That's true? it. Is it true to say Torah true? Well, Are Torah the true. people? You have it on your site, Torah yes, True. Yes, yes. Torah the, True is a description. It's yeah. not a. It's is not it a, a, a a label. Mm. It's a description. It means true to the Torah, as yeah, opposed yeah. to uh, distorting the Torah, fancy, adding or subtracting, secular right, or, or stuff, from yeah. it. And the Jews never even. I, it's unimaginable even for the Jews to have, let's say. Uh, uh, historic site like the Alamo for example yeah right, no right. such thing so what happens now the it's a very, the, the a very interesting part of the world it's very dangerous we only got about 10 minutes left mm -hmm. uh, what do you see is the attitude of the world ought to take toward the question of uh, mr. Netanyahu or Israel and the ideas about Iran and so forth what do you think is the situation there and what would be the policy suggestions you'd make to uh, decision makers in terms of the situation with Mr. Netanyahu at the helm in Israel now? Well, the entire idea of Zionism not being Judaism mm. means that Zionism lifted the name Jew, Jewishness, mm -hmm. Jew, Jew, Judaism, mm -hmm. and they, they gave it false meaning. 
Mm-hmm. Zionism is identity theft against the Jewish people. Mm. There's no such thing as a Jewish state because Judaism is a religion and Jews are those united by, by this supernatural character, supernatural factor. There's no such thing as a Jewish state. But they formed a state. Fine. And they unilaterally declared it the Jewish state, but it's not. Mm-hmm. I could say this room is the, the Jewish state. Okay. That doesn't make it so. Mm-hmm. They only declare something a Jewish state because they change the definition of Jewish. My definition of Jewish, uh-huh. the Torah true definition, the yeah. traditional je- definition, mm-hmm. it's not a question of whether the Jewish state is good or the Jewish state is bad. Yeah. It's not a Jewish state. To me, it's like China. Mm-hmm. There are Jews living there, but it has nothing to do with me. Where are the, where are the Wh- Jews living best in th- terms of the Jewish state as you understand the Jewish people? Who are the people that represent that better than any other people? The, the, the people who people. always represented it. Our role models, the righteous, religious people. Who represents the people that believe the Jews got the Torah on Mount Sinai mm. and it's their life's mission to fulfill it? Those and, people represent the Jews. And among the Jews, you got the, like in the United States, you got the conservative and reform and all that, and then you got Orthodox. The Orthodox Jews are the ones who are really the, the most close to listen, what is the right the cons- way for a person to be Jewish. It's very simple. The conservative. The conservative and reform Mm -hmm. and the Zionists Mm. came later. Mm -hmm. Christianity was based on Judaism Mm -hmm. at the beginning, right? But it formed another religion. Reform Judaism can call itself Judaism, but it's another religion. So is conservative Judaism. Mm. Like Jews for Jesus. Why wouldn't you consider Jews for Jesus a denomination of Judaism? Mm. They just, listen, uh, between... Well, is Christianity an offshoot of Judaism? uh, Well, you know, Jesus was a Jew. He spoke Aramaic and then, right? That is true. uh, Yeah, 100%. And then, you know, the Last Supper was a Pesach mm-hmm. Seder, and you look in yeah. the New Testament, yeah. he was basically an Orthodox yeah, Jew. He was right. not re- reform, he was not conservative. Yeah. He just, you know, believed that uh, he's went around, you know, so kind of believing be he was the, the Messiah. But, but What should be the lessons taken by people of the Jewish faith that are viewing this program in terms of their decision on which way they want to go to lead their lives in the time ahead relating to Judaism and Zionism? Zionism is a different religion than Judaism. Mm-hmm. To ask me what I think should happen between Jew, uh, Israel and Iran is like asking me what should happen between Canada and Iran or, or Pakistan and Iran. It's not a Jewish question. Mm-hmm. It's an Israeli question. It's a Zionist question. What do you think you should be happening between the Torah to Jewish community and the world? I don't understand the question. Well, I don't either. Really. Okay. I just said, but so, uh, yeah. so, so that's where you mentioned before in Torah Kart. I'm not an Torah anti-Zionist Kart. Jew. Zionism is anti-me. It's like saying I'm anti-Ku Klux Klan. Oh, you're an anti-Ku Klux Klan Jew. Zionism was created in order to change the Jews from what I am Mm -hmm. to what Benjamin Netanyahu is. To eradicate, to eradicate the the Jewiness, the Torahness, the the what they call the ghetto Jew, which is what I am. I'm a proud ghetto Jew. Look at me. I, th- I think you look great. Man. Th- we I all looked great. great. We all good. looked great, yeah, right? right? I'm from yeah. intellectual community, yeah, right? Right, right, right? And uh, mm. but they tried to to, to eliminate. Our identity to eliminate us. They want. They, they thought that we would not exist anymore, and everybody would be like them, just like you like know, like a secular, a uh, different, uh, smarty ass uh, Christian, whatever you exactly. Yeah. yeah. So so <laughs> that it's like bad. Yeah, it's like saying, yeah. well, Rabbi Shapiro, as a Jew, what do you think the Pope should do in this situation? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, what do you mean? The, yeah. Hey, listen, the Pope believes in God. Uh, Most Zionists don't. Yeah. The Pope. Um, believes in the Bible, Mosi- that really happens. Most Zionists don't. Is that right? The, sure, they, they, they believe it's a mythology. The yeah. Pope believes it's well, real, yeah, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The Pope believes yeah. in a Messiah, yeah. a, a different one than we do, yeah. and most Zionists don't, mm. and the Pope wears a yarmulke, mm. and most Zionists don't. So who's closer to me, to yeah. my religion, the Pope or an atheist Zionist? Well, that's interesting to take it that way. We, yeah. we, ha- mm. I have, we have nothing. That, that, you mentioned the Torah character before. Yeah, they, they, they insert themselves in the Palestinian-Israeli well, conflict. Anybody, and Torah they're, true they're, just they're, means they're they're outright uh, 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 against Zionism, and they have demonstrations, and they make it clear. That's Got all, along with that, Yasser that's, Arafat. That's all true. That's the, yeah, he that, wanted them on their committee. Yeah, uh, that, all that, that's all true. That has nothing to do with me. Okay. I consider that. Mm-hmm. A Zionist, uh, Zionist behavior. No, they're anti-Zionist. Uh, yes, but they're anti-Zionists. Like the left wings are anti-Zionists. They look at Israel. Uh, they, they look at the Israeli-Palestinian conflict as their conflict. They should weigh in, and as Jews, 
have a position. As far as I'm, that's a Zionist idea because why do you as relate Jews? To them? Do you relate to them? Do you don't get together and stuff and everything? Why are there others of the Jewish uh, for that uh, go along with your view of Harold? Things, Harold, Harold yes, of course yeah. there are. Are there many? You, you, see, yeah, I don't know. I, I want to correct a misconception. Yeah, please do. You, you, you're limiting uh, Jews that don't believe in Zionism to. The, the 10 or 20 people that you see on television all the time. The Nature Karto, or this one or that one. No, 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 no. Mainstream traditional Judaism yeah. doesn't believe in Zionism. Now, who do you call mainstream? I ask don't a Christian. Yeah. yeah, so ask mm -hmm. a Christian well, whether they believe the in a purgatory. Yeah. Well, it depends if it's a Catholic mm -hmm. or a Protestant, yeah, right, 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 so on and no. so forth. Same thing over here. Everybody can call anybody can call themselves authentic Jews. Mm. I could get into I can get into it with you yeah. and, and discuss what authentic Judaism is. Yeah, yeah. But we don't have enough time for that. We've but only got three minutes. Right, Maybe but you're asking me, yeah. you're asking me mm -hmm. about about my religion, uh -huh. not the Reformed Jewish religion, not the conservative Jewish religion, mm -hmm. not the Jews for Jesus religion, mm -hmm. and not the Zionist religion. Yeah. So, so we should not say, okay, why do you think of these 10 Jews who I always see on television who are anti-Zionist as well? I it has nothing that, to man. do... They don't see much on television. Oh, well, on the it's internet. Netanyahu uh, okay, coming. I understand. Yeah. But, but I have no connection with Israel. It is not a Jewish state. Uh -huh. I have a son who's there now in school. Uh -huh. And, and there's no, Jews can live there. They yeah. could live here. They could live there. It's not a problem. We're uh -huh. talking about the state of Israel. Yeah. The Romans once owns the Holy Land and That's is true. just as holy. Yeah, right. Okay. Mm. Uh, when the Jews spoke Aramaic, mm. they were even more holy than the Hebrew speaking uh, godless Jews, atheist Zionists that are there now. Yeah, right. So so the the ans short answer to your question is that if somebody really wants to be a uh, uh, Judaic Jew, mm. a traditional Jew, a Torah Jew, mm. he should um, relate to he should accept the Jewish religion as opposed to some political version of Judaism, mm -hmm. which is what Zionism is. There is there much of that going on, do you think, among your fellow Jews? Yeah. There, it is growing? Yeah. Are there other people across the country you relate with? Do you have, uh, yeah, do you yeah. have association uh, meetings? We don't people? need association. You, know. you okay. know what? It's like mm -hmm. asking me, okay, you're a Christian, you believe Jesus is the Messiah. Do you have other people who are associated yeah, with right. We We, we, we don't need meetings. Yeah, this okay. is just our okay. religion. Yeah, okay, okay. We don't yeah. need meetings. It's not like a club or two, three guys. This is... Uh, Mainstream Orthodox Judaism. Yeah, does it have much? Well, I say mainstream. It's not modern Orthodoxy, but mainstream yeah, ultra Orthodoxy. That's it. We don't need it, clubs. I mean, have something. I'm against the Ku Klux Klan. I would, would be you, too. Would you ask yeah. me? Do you have <laughs> anti Ku Klux Klan meetings uh, uh, with uh, your peers? No, no, no. It's the same thing. Okay, good. It's Thank just you. not Judaism. Yeah, that's right. All. It's just not there. And so, right. and what about just one? We only a minute left or so. How much about uh, political clout does this uh, take on things Judaic? From from your perspective have in terms of the geopolitical realities of the world? Or our, ought they had to Our have. power? We only got a minute or two left, yeah. Our power? Yeah, the real power, the yeah. The real power is God. Oh, okay. That's it. Uh -huh. okay. That's our geopolitical, um, yeah. <laughs> that's what we relate to, that's uh -huh. our power, uh -huh. that's who we beseech all the time to help uh -huh. us out. Yeah, and listen, 2,000 yeah. years, nobody yeah. understands how the Jews survived 2,000 years. We didn't have any political it's a hell states. Of a run. Of, hell you know of a run. why? Yeah, why? God. Yeah, okay. He's still around. Uh -huh. We don't need. Anything else? Uh -huh. That's our power. Okay, so Judaism is not a political thing; it's a religious thing. It's a religious Absolutely. thing, and uh, well, that's really interesting. That's the way that's the take. I, I just don't know. It was interesting. You're talking with Galid and everything like that on the same take, and there ought to be more expect because it does have political ramifications in terms of the world. If this could be uh, come part of a, a truly identity that uh, would be some sort of difference to the way in which they work. Are you optimistic for the human prospect or not? The human prospect. I need you to tell me what that means. Well, do you think we're gonna blow it up? You think we're gonna destroy the whole species? Or do you think we made this, this possibility we can liberate from material, uh, all of that, 
or annihilate the species. I don't Do you think, think we're going to make it? I don't or? think we're annihilating the species, but that's just speculation. I have no scientific proof of that. All right. In I'll my community, we need to have intellectual uh, proof to something before okay, making an assertion. Thank you. Listen, your ple my pleasure for crying out loud. My pleasure, pleasure too. Rabbi Yaakov Shapiro, Rabbi of ba how do you say it? Ba Bayswater, Bayswater, Bayswater. Base Medrash of Bayswater, it of says. Bayswater. Okay, well, listen, thank you a lot for coming in. so great. we got to get talking more. I got a lot of people I could introduce you to to help set you straight. Sure. And you could do the same with me, I think, right? No problem. All right, we tried here. Okay, I'd, thanks for viewing. We're coming back again tomorrow. This is the rabbi, and it's a great pleasure talking with Rabbi Shapiro. Thank you very much, and we'll be coming back uh, again tomorrow. So thank you for viewing. Okay, great hat, man. You got Who does your hat? I'm buying the store.